What's up guys, Squally and Heart 1000 here. And today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on the XAS action battle script. Now I'm telling you guys, I'm going to start off by uh, warning pretty much. If you're not used to RPG Maker VXAS yet, then I wouldn't recommend using this script as it is complex and very, very difficult to use. So first what you're going to want to do is go into your script editor. Oh yeah, first I should mention, uh, you got to download the XAS Hero Edition Ace uh, uh, thing first. And it'll come with like the game data and stuff like that where you can find the script. So yeah, same with uh, Cast Awesome Light Effects, same with Talk and Tie. Similar kind of concept. So first, open up, like I said, open up your script editor and then just when you reach down all the way down to like um, materials and whatever um, you're gonna find XAS in the battle script so you're gonna copy this and all this stuff over here to your game so we'll go into our script editor here we'll go to the same nah, just to make this as much as possible just like the thing we're gonna make a space so I'll just copy. I also did save the time to, um, because just like Talk and Tie, this thing has files that you need to copy to your game in order for it to work. And just the fact that it would probably take me about, well, actually, it did take me around 20 minutes to do it. And that would be, that would have been a lot of time wasted for pointless stuff but I will show you guys exactly what I'm talking about after I'm done copying all this so you guys could probably just skip to the part where I'm done copying all this stuff now the space here and here isn't necessarily like required but I recommend it simply because it'll it'll just make it like just like this in the uh, XAS file All right, there we go. All of it's copied. You can just apply it and then just save it as it is. And now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with the resource manager with all the files. So in XAS, you're going to notice all of these red files. All of them in this. And they are required for you to have. There's no real... The only ones you don't need are Battler's Alice because you'll be using your own character if you want. And all the Alice ones and hero those are the only ones you don't need everything else you need so if you're if you're using your own character of course now I, for sake of um, time I already copied them all into uh, my tutorial file here and um, another thing you're gonna wanna do and I made this mistake too when I first installed XAS uh, hero edition um, you need to start a new game file if you are going to use this script or you're just going to have to completely redo it if you made your map 01 data which is map 001 right here if you made that data like important like if this is like your opening event or your startup or whatever then um, you're just going to need to revamp it and save it so that all of these events that you see here which I'll pull up right here on the tool map are the exact same on your file and I again I made this mistake when um, I was uh, when I used this thing for the first time 
So first, I'm just going to give you guys a basic um, rundown of what it looks like. So again, for um, purposes, I'm going to go through the um, just... I'll go through the battle first, and I'll show you what basic battles look like. I'm not going to go through the bosses. Well, I'll go through one to give you a basic idea of what this script is capable of doing. So... So yeah, that's just the basic idea. I went through all the uh, weapons for you and what it can do. And now I'll go through the uh, shield stage. Because this is something pretty cool. And this is kind of what another thing that this script is famous for. So this is just like the tutorial thing. So yeah, that's just a basic idea. And you need, again, you need all these events on it in order for it to work. Now what I would recommend, and this is what I did, but uh, it works the other way too, is um, in order to, is when you're using this script, I would just um, use the XAS file that you get and delete all the uh, maps that you see down here and just make your own. But for this tutorial, I'm going to do this. and. Keep in mind, this is a basic tutorial, so any complex stuff that you can do with this, I'm not going to show. So, starting positions. I'm just going to put my player there, and um, another thing for your weapons. For example, here's an axe here. In your um, database, you're going to want to go to your weapons. 
And I'm just going to do the sword. It works for the bow, the spear, the boomerang, the rod, all that too. But this right down here in notes is very, very important. So we're just going to copy this because this is the uh, sword data. And I'll just put it in place of this axe. And um, actors, I'm not going to change anything. So class, his starting weapon will be the axe. And uh, yeah, that's that's important. And for enemies, another thing about enemies is you're going to want so as you can see, this data right here, so this is the trap enemy, the one that you saw that was shooting fireballs and stuff like that. Ghost, I just renamed it just to test it because I was went for my uh, game that I was making. So you're going to copy this over here. And uh, we'll move it over here to slime. And um, I'll also make a trap enemy. So yeah, the graphics don't matter because you'll be using it on the um, uh, world map pretty much. So I'm just going to max everything out. I've never used trapped enemies, so not 100% sure if this will work, but it might. Who knows? So just copy the data from your trap enemy and just paste it right here. And we're going to turn this off. Delete. And another key important thing is this is your enemy 1. This is your enemy 2. And um, I'll tell you exactly why that's important after. Um, I'm pretty sure this is it for now of what we have to do in the database. So now what we're going to do is go back here. I'm going to create a basic enemy. So battle. So, for example, right here, um, you're, it says enemy 3 because that's what the slime data is, but we're going to do enemy 1 for ours. So, new event, graphics. Again, you're going to have these later, so uh, I'll just use ghost. The graphic doesn't matter as long as you choose one of the ones they give you. And um, I'm not sure if they did walking. Yeah, walking and stuff. So walking animation, step animation, this is going to be custom, movement route, move random directions, and then wait. This is going to be repeating. And this one is at four times slower, I believe, in highest frequency. And instead of it being called event one, you're going to do this. Yeah, see. And then this is pretty much what it does. After that, you're going to turn the self switch on. Self switch D. Whoops. No self switch. New event page, self switch D. We'll go back to our ghost. Now, it's not going to say ghost in the HUD, but whatever. And then custom, I'm not sure what the... Yeah, I'm going to copy this. This is just... So, select all, copy. Just just to save time. You can edit that, do whatever you want with it, but I just recommend just keeping it the way it was here. And I believe it's still uh, two times slower highest frequency and then step animation too so two times slower four times slower so in ours is enemy number one so we're gonna apply that and um, I'm pretty sure this will work it should So as you can see, the character is slashing with the sword. And it was a one-hit kill because I made his HP way too low and his defense way too low. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that enemy worked and now I'll do the trap enemy.
So um, I'm not 100% sure how to do this one, so I'll go back here. Demonstration and tool, so shield. Oh, that's it. Nah. So movement root is just turn right, script, shoot. So um, we're just going to copy this and paste it right up here. And again, this should work. So yeah, here... Oh man, I gotta give it MP, really? Oh well. So MP... N n n just a ton of MP. <laughs> I, oh yeah, I think I know why, what's wrong. It's gotta be enemy 2. As you can see now, it's shooting fire. <laughs> Except, it's, yeah, you're going to need to fix a few things like that. But yeah, basic tutorial on how to use this. I'll definitely be making a part two. So, um, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you got to do. Ask any questions in the comments, and I'll try to answer them the best of my ability. And, um, yeah, see you guys next time.